Okay, question 25. One gram of uh, all these uh, compound, they are added to separate pickles containing water and stir. Okay, the numbers of pickles containing white solid is Q. This is the first part. The second part is to add excess sodium hydroxide, then stir. Then it will be um, R later. The numbers of pickles that containing white solid is R. Okay, if we discuss the first part, if let's say we add all these compounds in water, so we know that sodium oxide will dissolve, magnesium oxide will form magnesium hydroxide, so it's kind of like not uh, really uh, dissolved and the white solid is there. And the aluminum oxide, SiO2, both cannot dissolve in water. So therefore, the magnesium oxide okay, will form the white solid. The aluminum oxide and SiO2 will not dissolve. The white solid is there. Sodium chloride dissolve in water. Magnesium chloride also dissolve in water. Aluminum chloride also it will dissolve in water. And the SiCl4 will dissolve in water, but later it will form SiO2. It's formed white solid. Therefore, in water, you get four pickles which will form white solid. Okay, so answer is just C or D. Now, the solutions then will, <coughs> we will add the sodium hydroxide to each of these pickles and stir. So when the sodium hydroxide added, we know that the, uh, the pickle with uh, just now the sodium oxide, okay, which is the sodium hydroxide solutions, so it will be no change. Okay, this magnesium hydroxide solution that formed just now, okay, when we add sodium hydroxide, also it will not dissolve. The white solid is there. So this one, okay, it will be white solid. The aluminium oxide will dissolve in the sodium hydroxide. Okay, so therefore you will not really see the white precipitate. Okay, so for the SiO2, okay, it will dissolve only in hot concentrated al alkaline. So means you still see the white precipitate or white solids there. Okay, this one, white solid is there. Magnesium chloride here, just now. If you add sodium hydroxide in the magnesium chloride solution, so it will form the magnesium hydroxide, it will form white solid. If you add sodium hydroxide in excess to the aluminium chloride solution just now, it will be similar to aluminium oxide. Uh, means uh, it will dissolve so dissolve in excess okay because there is a when aluminium the solution has aluminium ion okay when we add hydroxide in excess it, the white precipitate will soluble in excess and the SiCl4 okay so when we add sodium hydroxide into the SiCl4 so it will form white precipitate like I say just now and also it will not dissolve in the excess sodium hydroxide so this one will form white precipitate or white solid so means the 
R number will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, answer is D, 4, 4 for Q and R. Okay, in this question, you have to assume or you have to know the aluminum oxide will dissolve in the NaOH solution. Okay, this is the things that you need to know. Okay, that's all. Thank you.